Well, hello there. It's March 20th, and just like everyone else, I'm stuck at home. Uh, so I thought I'd give some content recommendations right now. I have a DIY coming, but it's taking a little bit longer, and it's been a bit of a struggle to stay productive uh, this past week and a half. Um, but let's just jump right into it. So first up are some podcast recommendations. We're going to be great uh, to listen to while you're cleaning or working. Um, so that's really nice to have something going on in the background when you're home. I listen to a ton because I work from home. Uh, so first up is My Dad Wrote a Porno, which is pretty popular. They even have an HBO special. Um, but if you haven't given it a chance, now's the time. It's hilarious. It's um, a British guy and his two friends. Uh, reading the erotic novel that his dad wrote. And it's just so nonsensical, the novel. Um, and they're very uh, funny and charismatic. So it's a great read. It's hilarious, especially uh, if you have like, uh, it's really fun if you can maybe get like a, another friend to listen to it, then you guys can text about it or FaceTime. Um, uh, when like new episodes come out, me and my cousin are always like, oh my God, can you believe this or whatever? Um, so really fun one, uh, to listen to really funny, very raunchy. Um, so if that offends you, don't listen, but it's hilarious. Next up is The Dropout, which is about Elizabeth, um, Holmes and her company Theranos and the big scam that it was. Um, it's super interesting. I've read, um, the book Bad Blood and watched the HBO special and watched like every single YouTube video I could find about it. Um, so super interested in it. That was the first thing I listened to about it really though. Um, and once I listened to it, I, I think I listened to it like two or three times and then I was like, I need more content. So then I read the book. Um, so I think it's super interesting if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, I listened to it super fast. So uh, that one's super interesting if you haven't listened to that. Another one is Heaven's Gate. And so it's uh, about like the Heaven's Gate cult, obviously. Um, so they talk about it, but they also interview a lot of people, like friends and family who are their, their friends and family uh, were a part of the cult and uh, committed suicide. So it's really interesting. I think it's like 12 episodes. Um, so I really liked that. Um, it, it was a, a different than just if like you've seen like some documentaries and stuff because they had so many uh, interviews. So I really suggest that. And then the last one is um, you must remember this, but specifically the 12 episodes about uh, Charles Manson's Hollywood. Uh, and it's super interesting. Um, can you see a theme here? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's 12 episodes. I'll link everything down below, um, but I really enjoyed those. I think I actually might re-listen to those uh, while I'm quarantined because I haven't listened to them in a while. Um, so it's really interesting because it's not just about like Manson's like how all the murders relate to old Hollywood. Um, so they talk about like um, one of the guys from the Beach Boys and I think Doris Day and um, and then obviously Sharon Tate, and Roman Polanski. Um, so like how it all kind of connected, um, but also like the history and everything. So it, those are super interesting. So it's 12 episodes and I'll link them below. Highly suggest them. Um, and that's it for my podcast right now. I must suggest a couple books. I don't think any of them are very current, um, like new books, but uh, these are three that I like. Uh, if you want some uh, books of newer authors or more current titles, definitely check out BookTube. Specifically, I love Read with Cindy, but there's tons of BookTubers out there. Um, so definitely check that out if you're looking for some new books. Uh, first one I'm going to suggest is actually a trilogy. It's the um, Mad Adam trilogy by Margaret Atwood. Uh, so the first one's Ox and Crane, and it, it's their dystopian post-apocalyptic uh, books. And so the um, main character, Jimmy, is trying to survive, and then he's also like, kind of remembering how they got in this situation. So it's kind of flipping back between um, him, you know, looking for food and survival, and then also remembering like how they got back to the situation. Um, I, like, I don't know, some of my favorite books. I really love them. I think about them often. I really hope they come out with like a, 
a TV show with him. So my husband will watch them because he doesn't really like to read that much. Uh, but they're really good. I really love them. And I think they don't skew female or male. I think I think uh, either sex would enjoy them. Um, and if you've read like um, Handmaiden's Tale, uh, it's definitely, I would say this one's harder to read because like the information is like you it's coming out and you have a you're reading you're reading a chapter and you're not really sure what's going on yet and you have another chapter that's like kind of like in the past and so oops. <laughs> so the information is coming out kind of in like drips and drops I would say but like I would say just like read it for 20 minutes and then like put it down and like you'll find yourself thinking about it like oh what is going on like it's just really sticks with you um, so I really suggest it. I did take me a long time to read all three books and I don't think they're that long, although I buy everything digitally, so I'm not sure how thick the books are. Um, but I think they're really interesting. I may be a little triggering for the times right now. Um, but I think they're really good. I really suggest them. And I've read both like Handmaiden's Tale and Testaments and a couple other Margaret Atwood books. And this, these are like my favorite, um, I would say they're like a little bit more work, but I think it's worth it. They're just like such better book, or not such better, because I love the other books too, but they're, I just really love this story, I'll say. Um, I saw, I read like some of the reviews online and people complained about like, they didn't like all the character work, which I really liked. I'd say like, so if you don't like character heavy um, stories, then maybe you won't like it, uh, but they're really good. I suggest them if that sounds interesting to you or read a couple of reviews online and see. And I'll link everything below. I'm just going to link the Kindle links because um, I assume like everyone is trying to limit going outside so you can buy them on your Kindle. And if you don't have a Kindle too, you can, or you have another e-reader, you can always too like read on your computer or your iPhone or whatever your phone or whatever you have. I know I read before I had a Kindle. Um, I just like read an entire book on my phone. Just make sure you like disable notifications. Um, so that's an option too, just to read on your phone um, if you don't have like a Kindle or e-reader. Uh, okay, so I have like my list over here. <laughs> uh, so another one is uh, Cleopatra, A Life by Stacey Schiff. And this is an older book. She's come out with another book since then, but it's just about, it's like a biography about Cleopatra's life, but it's um, like, it's, it's a newer novel. So it's like very up to date. And also, um, like, they'll kind of, like, be points where they'll be like, we don't know, for, know like, what exactly happened here. Our best guess is this. But it's still written like a story. So it's not just, it's, it's really, I think it's really interesting. Um, and, like, I don't know, kind of magical, you know, reading about Cleopatra and, and um, you know, sneaking her in to s talk to Caesar and, uh what have you. I don't know. I think it's an interesting story. So I definitely suggest that. It's not too long. I think that one's pretty easy to read. Um, it doesn't, it, you know, there's little breaks where they're like, oh, we're not exactly sure what would have happened here, but this is our best guess kind of thing. Um, but I think it's really good. Um, and yeah, you learn a little something, you know, learn more about Cleopatra. So um, yeah. Um, and then my last book is also nonfiction. It's uh, called Blitzed. Let me look at the name. Drugs in the Third Reich. Um, and I'll just put the author's name down below. Um, but it's just about all the drugs that Hitler was doing and all the Nazis were doing. And it's like really interesting because they talk about how uh, they were able to like basically do speed so that they could um, uh, be out on the battle lines longer, but then also at the end, it was just like Hitler was about to die anyway because of all the drugs. He was um, not in good health. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It was pretty interesting. It's a little bit of a harder week because a lot of like um, German drug names and kind of words in there a little bit, but not that hard, I wouldn't say. Um, but yeah, it's pretty interesting and I don't know, learn something new. I guess not really useful knowledge, but you also learn about um, like drug companies today that are still making drugs that are making these stimulants for the Nazis and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so there's a couple books to read, but yeah, again, like just read, uh, something you, you read before too. That's kind of comforting during a scary time, I'd say, but, um, if you want some new books to escape, there's a couple and definitely check out booktube.
All right, and then as far as TV shows, I don't have anything current to list, but I'll, I'm going to list three TV shows I really like that I watch over and over again and that are available to stream. Uh, so the first one is Fringe, and it's basically just like a modern day X Files. Um, I like it's one of my favorite shows. I love it. Highly suggest it, and you can stream it on Prime Now. Um, so if you have Prime Now, it's available there right now. Um, then the next show I'm going to tell you about is Haven, um, and you can stream that on Netflix. And it's from a Stephen King novel, The Colorado Kid, and it's a FBI agent, and um, she goes to this small town, and they're having these like abnormal things happen to the people, and they're called, called the Troubles. And she kind of like they investigate them. And each each episode, they're investigating a trouble and um, finding some sort of like resolution to it if that makes sense uh, so anyways it's i really like it it was i think originally on sci-fi um so yeah if you kind of like um science fiction type stuff and uh yeah so i really like that one i've watched that a couple times i actually kind of been re-watching that at night uh right now and then my last one is veronica mars which I'm sure you've heard of and is very popular, but all the seasons are available on Hulu right now. Um, so Veronica Mars is Kristen Bell. She's a high school student and her dad's a PI. And so she's investigating um, local crimes and what have you in her school. And I love it. I've watched it so many times. So if you've never seen Veronica Mars or if you have and you haven't seen it recently, rewatch it. It's great. I love it. I will probably be rewatching that during the quarantine as well. All right, so my last recommendation is for movies. And unfortunately, this is going to cost you some money. Um, but I highly suggest getting the Criterion channel. Um, it has like amazing selection of old films and foreign. And they're just like all quality movies, like you, you can't really go wrong picking a film on there. Um, and it's $10.99 a month or $100 for a year. I highly suggest it. I cancel all my subscriptions and keep this one. Even though you don't like, I tend to watch a film every night on there. Um, I just, I love having the option and I love supporting them because they do such a great job curating collections and telling you what's new. And I just, I absolutely love the Criterion channel. Um, but furthermore, on the Criterion channel, I'll suggest some movies. And I'm just going to suggest um, this series. So it's, uh, let me move back. <laughs> it's The Adventures of Antoine Donnell. Um, and so it's five, um, five movies. And one's a short film. Um, and so it's just uh, the main character, Antoine. It's just kind of like, uh, like a kind of coming of age movie. So it starts when he's kind of like a teen preteen and then goes off until he's like his probably his 40s or whatever and so like each movie is like a different period of his life and he's just like a very mischievous character he like falls in love hard and easy um and he's just trying he's trying to like make his way in the world but he's kind of foolish sometimes you you can't help but like love him but also shake your head at him and you're like no not again Antoine um I don't know. I love these movies. My husband loves them too. Uh, we watch them frequently. This is like one of our favorite like stay at home date nights. So I really suggest um, make dinner or get some takeaways and then put one on. Um, I think you really enjoy it. And these are in French, so they're subtitled, but I think that it's very calming to watch films that are subtitled because it forces you to only watch the movie. That's all you can think about. That's all you can do. Um, and especially when there's, uh, so much scariness going on, I don't know, I find it very calming. It really helps my anxiety, um, to watch a movie with subtitles. So I really suggest it. Um, if you're going to watch these, start in the middle, I would say. Start with Stolen, or no, I think it's Stolen Kisses. Um, yeah, start with Stolen Kisses. The first one is, uh, like, black and white, and he's, like, a bit younger, and it's a little bit darker. And then the second film, Antoine and Colette, is, like, just a short film, uh, so I say start with Stolen Kisses and then you can watch the the next two and like you'd be fine. And then if you're like, oh, I really love these, go back and watch the first two. They're all good, but I, I just think um, Stolen Kisses is an easier one to watch first. 
Um, so that's my suggestion. I love these. They're great. Um, but yeah, if you and if you go on to there, they have all these curated playlists. Like uh, right now they have Anna Karina, The Face of New Wave. Um, and that's those are the ones we're currently trying to watch. So we've been watching uh, one of those at a time. Um, and this is the... Um, this is French New Wave as well, so um, I specifically, I tend to watch French New Wave on there, but I try to watch other stuff. But yeah, also if like doesn't sound good to you, like just kind of read through, pick a film, see if you like it. If you like it, then watch more by that director or watch more with like the main actor um, is what I always do. It seems kind of scary at first. Um, but yeah, just like, I, I just kind of like pick one that looks kind of interesting. Maybe I just look at like the cover art and I'm like, oh, that looks good and I'll watch it and then um, check out other stuff. Um, so yeah, so, and then I'll tell you a couple other play. So they have, and then they have another directed by John luc Godard, I think is how you say it. He's another director of French Wave and I've watched several of his. So there's a playlist for that that I'll probably move on to eventually um yeah and there's some other ones but yeah there's like little playlist on there so you can um find stuff there's also like um i don't know if it's still up there but a couple months ago they had like a sci-fi playlist so it was all like 60s or 70s sci-fi movies and so we were watching a bunch of those um so like yeah, the playlists are really nice i really enjoy those there is a 14 day free trial so you can check that out i really enjoy it but maybe you won't but yeah uh highly suggest it The last thing are video games. I'm sure a lot of you have been playing a lot of video games. Um, so it's the 20th, so just like everyone else, I will be playing Animal Crossing. I ordered my copy on Target because I wanted the little journal, so I'm waiting for mine to arrive. Uh, but as soon as that comes, I'll be playing that. And in fact, I've been ordering Amiibos like crazy. Is anyone else stressed buying stuff? I hope it's not just me. <laughs> um, so I got this one, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna open it because I don't know, why not? So I got this cute little Timmy and Tommy amiibo. Oh my gosh, I can't even with the little, I don't know if you can see that with the little box. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Um, so yeah, I've been buying these amiibos like crazy. I don't know if they're gonna be useful in the game. Um, most of them I got pretty cheap except for this one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then my, my other suggestion just is uh, we have Just Dance and we've been playing that like every day or every other day. Um, and it's super fun and you get a little exercise because we're all trapped inside. So just a thought if you hadn't thought about playing Just Dance, um, that's a good time because yeah, you're stuck inside. So we've been enjoying that. All right, well, I hope uh, some of those sounded interesting to you. Uh, let me know down below what your content recommendations are. Give, it a, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back soon with some uh, new content. Um, and yes, I am drinking a beer at 11 a.m. It's airport rules now. Uh, see you soon.